Haryana based Lotus Advanced Technologies has secured a 26 crore rupees contract from Hindustan Aeronautics for the maintenance, repair, and overhaul of THL 20 turret systems. The Russian embassy in Kenya has released an AI generated festive video showing President Vladimir Putin dressed as Santa Claus, handing out symbolic Christmas gifts to world leaders, and Prime Minister Modi is shown unwrapping a model of the Su 57E. India's fourth ballistic missile submarine S-4 Star has begun sea trials that can carry eight nuclear-capable K-4 missiles, with induction expected around 2028. New Space Research and Technologies has released a teaser for its upcoming Super Swarm, hinting at a next-generation networked strike capability under development. India is deploying a layered air defense shield across its northern defense corridors to protect key military industrial zones, treating them as strategic military assets. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has issued an expression of interest for an indigenous hail UAV program, seeking an Indian development cum production partner, with submissions due by 28 January 2026. Russia has offered its S-350 air defense missile system to India along with technology transfer provisions, positioning it as a complementary layer to India's existing S-400 batteries, providing dense coverage against low altitude and closer range threats. A senior Brahmos aerospace official has said that despite advances in sensors and space-based tracking, the Brahmos cruise missile is expected to remain extremely difficult to intercept even by mid-2030. Within due upgrading Brahmos into newer blocks, interception rates are expected to remain limited even against future interceptor systems. The official also confirmed that the Max 7 Plus hypersonic Brahmos 2 will start testing in 2028. The DRDO successfully conducted the first test of the 120 km Pinnacle Long Range Guided Rocket, during which it demonstrated all the planned in flight maneuvers and achieved a direct hit on the designated target with textbook precision. It was fired from the in service Pinnacle Launcher demonstrating the system's versatility and its ability to fire multiple variants of Pinnacle rockets with different ranges from the same launcher. After the front fuselage, the Aeronautical Development Agency has now issued a formal statement of work for the detailed design and engineering of the rear fuselage of AMCA, that marks a key transition of the AMCA program to full-scale detailed engineering and industrial execution, signaling steady progress toward prototype manufacturing. The rear fuselage is a particularly critical section, interfacing with the engine bay, exhaust, thermal management zones, and stealth critical shaping. India has begun construction of the first two S-5 class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, a major boost to its sea-based nuclear deterrent. With an estimated displacement of 13,500 tons, the S-5 SSBNs are designed for greater endurance stealth and higher missile payload, including 12 K-5 MERF-capable nuclear-armed submarine-launched ballistic missiles. The first submarine is expected to enter service in the early 2030s, with up to four S-5-class SSBN planned by the late 2030s. Rolls-Royce is exploring making India its third home market after the US and Germany, stepping up its pitch for India's 120 kN class engine for the AMCA. Rolls-Royce highlighted its work on the F-136 engine developed with General Electric for the F-35 program, which involved advanced materials, cooling technologies, and high thrust performance despite being later discontinued. While Rolls-Royce is positioning this experience as closely aligned with India's requirements, but industry watchers note that Safran currently has strong momentum due to its readiness to offer deeper technology transfer, shared intellectual property, and a long-term industrial partnership. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.